Unraveling the Sweetness, Understanding Caramel Delight. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a deliciously sweet phrase, Caramel Delight. This phrase is not just about a treat but is loaded with cultural and linguistic nuances. Let's dive in to understand what makes this phrase so special and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. Caramel refers to a confection made by heating sugar until it becomes a thick, brown liquid with a rich, buttery flavor. This word often brings to mind sweet treats and desserts. Delight signifies a high degree of pleasure or enjoyment. When combined, caramel delight can refer to a dessert that is extremely enjoyable and satisfying, but it's also used metaphorically to describe anything that is very pleasing or enjoyable. 1. Literal use. In a literal sense, caramel delight could refer to a specific dessert, like a cake or ice cream flavored with caramel. For example, the bakery's caramel delight is famous in the entire town. 2. Metaphorical use. More interestingly, it's often used metaphorically. For instance, if someone says, this book is a caramel delight, they mean the book is extremely enjoyable, much like savoring a delicious caramel dessert. 3. Colloquial expressions. Sometimes, caramel delight could also be used in a colloquial sense to describe a situation or experience that is pleasantly sweet or unexpectedly delightful. Caramel delight can also have cultural references, especially in the context of food and desserts. Different cultures may have their own version of a caramel delight, which can be a great topic of conversation. Moreover, this phrase might evoke different emotions and associations depending on the individual's experiences with caramel-flavored treats. Let's practice using caramel delight in sentences. The sunset at the beach was a caramel delight, soothing and beautiful. I gifted her a box of homemade caramel delights for her birthday. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, caramel delight, in different contexts. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the feelings and images they evoke. Keep practicing, and don't forget to enjoy the sweet moments of learning. See you in the next video.